Hi guys, welcome to Linux I YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video I will tell you how to create virtual block device in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is virtual block device or we can say loop device and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my virtual block device lab setup environment. So the first question come in our mind is what is loopback device? So loop device is a pseudo device that makes a computer file accessible as a block device. This block device maps its data block not to a physical device such as a hard drive or hard disk drive or optical disk drive but to the blocks of regular file in the Linux file system. On a better way we can say that basically it's map a normal file onto a virtual block device this allows for the file to be used as a virtual file system inside the another file with the linux it is possible to create a file system inside a single file so normally when we run the df minus such command we got a such type of output where slash is our actual hard disk drive even slash if we have the output slash dev z loop 0 loop 1 loop 2 loop 3 these are our loop devices Okay, so let's begin the lab session and create the partition inside the loopback device. Okay, so guys, this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 8.0. So if I open my etc release file, see, this is currently I'm using RHEL 8.0. So what I'm going to do, we have to follow a few steps for making a partition inside the loopback device. So my first step is to list and find out available loop device in Linux file system. So for this, I run the command allo setup allo setup hyphen l so allo setup command this command is used to set up and control loop devices in the linux so as you know as we can see that uh, currently we don't have any existing attached loop device available in this linux machine so let's find out unused loop device which is available in this machine so for this i run the command allo setup hyphen f so look at that here we have a one loop device that is dev loop zero which is available for us now the one now the point is uh, by default loop devices are available in the linux file system but they doesn't have their own size they pick up the size from the raw disk so uh, we make a raw file and assign the size to this raw file whatever the free size available from our slash partition or our uh, hard drive then after we attach this file to my loopback devices so once the process will be successfully completed my loopback device acquire the entire file system and our entire file size of my raw file then after i can use this loop device which is really useful for us whenever we uh, whenever i don't have any physical disks available or i needed any extra hard drive okay so this is the process what are what are we are going to do so let's make a drive to store my raw disk file so i run the command mkdir slash test okay and for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to create exact 5 GB of raw disk file because I have a free size available in my slash partition. So let's check a free space of my slash partition. I run the command df h slash. So look at that. Uh, it's uh, uh, here it's clearly mentioned that uh, I have approx 11 GB um, free space available in my hand. So for the creation of 5 GB raw disk file, I used which command? F allocate command. F allocate hyphen l give the size that is 5 gb and where you want to store i say go to the test and file name is uh, file one okay so this command is used to allocate the disk space for a file so let's check and verify the file size so i say ll hyphen hl and test file one look at that so here it is exact 5 gb raw disk file successfully created and it is ready for the next used so now move to the next step in next step, uh, in this step, I'm going to create a link between my loopback device and my raw disk file. So if I run uh, allo setup command, I show you something, allo setup hyphen A. So this command will show all attached loopback device. So currently there is no attached loopback device available. So even if I use even lsblk, if I go with the lsblk command, it shows me that it is used my standard SDA drive and related partition like SDA1, SDA2 and SDA3. Uh, which is mounted in slash boot and slash okay so let's create a link between my loopback device and the raw file so for this i run the command hello setup and uh, my loopback device dev loop zero and where test file one now see what happened now if i again run lsblk command look at that look at the look at the 
point loop 0 5 GB so see loop 0 is available with the 5 GB storage now I can use this device as a normal partition or make LVM partition or go with different storage option again if I run LO setup hyphen A one more time let's see what happened look at that um, it shows me that my slash dev loop 0 is attached with my raw disk file that is test file 1 okay so this is uh, we have complete this step now move to the next step which is assigning the file system to this device and mount it so for this I run the mkfs command so mkfs command is used for assigning the file system to my loopback devices and currently I'm using rel8 so I go with xfs file system dev loop 0 otherwise you can go with ext3 or ext4 okay so see okay formatted is completed now let's go with temporary mounting if we know very well that we have two types of mounting temporary and permanent so firstly I will start with the temporary mounting so for mounting I have a command mount command mount and dev what what your mount point is mm, loop 0 slash test no sorry slash yahoo uh, yahoo is not created no issue let's make a mount point first yahoo and go with mount dev loop 0 slash yahoo okay now go to this like location and try to make some file file from 1 to 10 dot txt okay run the ls command great good from there okay now if i go with df hyphen capital t slash yahoo uh, it shows me the available space of my slash dev loop devices that is 5.0 okay and it's used only 68.68 mb okay so this is how we can access our loopback device but this is the temporary mounting so for make it permanent let's move to the next step for permanent mounting firstly I have to unmount it and uh, open the file etc of step file this is used for the permanent mounting or static mounting and go to the bottom put up some entries so I say test file 1 and where you want to mount it I say in Yahoo file system is XFS go with defaults and 0 0 okay now here I'm using slash test file 1 because once the piece to device is initialized with the file system we can directly mount using a single line like slash test file 1 here we no need to use UUID because the file is not like a slash dev slash device that could drop in different order it won't move so it is not a problem that uh, if you are using the absolute path okay so just save and quit from there and run the mount minus a mount all now this is the permanent mounting if I go with ls yahoo here it, I back my all files so this is how you can make it permanent mount also so now once next time you reboot it it will be also available okay now suppose if you want to remove this link you want to remove the link between the loopback device and the raw file so for this you have to firstly unmount it one more time so this time I want to uh, remove the link between the loopback device and the raw file so these are the steps firstly you have to unmount it and then remove the entry from etcl step file great save and quit and do not forget to deattach uh, the loopback device so for this i run the command allo setup one more time and hyphen t dev loop zero so this command will free the loopback device okay once i press enter it's free so now it's nothing so guys the, this is how we can make partition inside the loopback device and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for the uh, latest update if you like this video please do not forget to like and share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye